use for this haggis. I think I need to trim my plants. <laughs> I think they're kind of like losing it a little bit. <clears throat> and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. Whenever anything begins to disintegrate your life with Jesus Christ, turn to him at once and ask him to establish rest. Never allow anything to remain what is making the dispeace. Take every element of disintegration as something to wrestle against and not to suffer. Say, Lord, prove thy consciousness in me and self-consciousness will go and he will be all in all. Beware of allowing self-consciousness to continue because by slow degrees it will awaken self-pity and self-pity is satanic. Well, I am not understood. This is the thing they ought to apologize for and that is a point I really must have cleared up. Leave others alone and ask the Lord to give you Christ consciousness and he will poise you until the completeness is absolute. Part of what Tozer is saying there, or Chambers is saying there, is that when you think that you have to, you've been wrong for some reason, that you have to defend yourself, or you are in the wrong, and you have to somehow explain yourself, then you are incorrect with your relationship with the Lord. You need to take the time to wait on the Lord and just to rest in Him and allow Him to work out the solution for you, as opposed to you trying to resolve it in your own strength. The complete life is the life of a child. When I am consciously conscious, there is something wrong. It is the sick man who knows what health is. The child of God is not conscious of the will of God because he is the will of God. When there has been the slightest deviation from the will of God, we begin to ask, what is thy will? A child of God never prays to be conscious that God answers prayer. He is so restfully certain that God always does answer prayer. Part of what again, Tozer is saying, because these are cut up sometimes, is that we don't have to, a person who knows God in a personal intimate way doesn't have to wonder if God's going to answer a prayer. He knows that God does. I personally know that God answers all my prayers. I have no problem with that. I sometimes feel at odds or uncomfortable with not knowing what's going on until God reveals it. I just feel kind of, wonder what's going on. And sometimes feel disassociated with it. So then God tells me and tells her to pull back away and to, if there's anything that I obviously know is wrong, to you know, resolve that. But to the most part, wait on God to restore whatever it is that seems to be out of sync with what His will is for me. And the same is true with you. If you're slightly off kilter, notice if there's anything wrong in your life. But then if there isn't, then wait on the Lord. If we try to overcome self-consciousness by any common sense method, we will develop it tremendously. Jesus says, come unto me and I will give you rest. Meaning that the Christ consciousness will take the place of self-consciousness. Wherever Jesus comes, he enables and establishes rest, the rest of perfection of activity that is never conscious of itself. In other words, 90% of the time you don't have to worry about, well, God, please come and see me or be with me. You know He's with you, because once you get to that place, if you're in His will, it is obvious that God is in you. It is taken for granted, as it were, that you have no concerns except that which God is already doing in you, and to maintain that wonderful fellowship you have with God, that wonderful connection that you have, that wonderful intimacy that Jesus could be sitting right here with us. And then you could look at Him and just... Breathe in and breathe out and know that all is well because your Lord is here. And in that, when you feel discomforted like I do today, take it to the Lord and accept that He has it in control. And when it's time, He'll bring it back together in a perfect picture. And you'll feel perfectly content with the day that you live to the day where you felt slightly out of sync or off kilter. And you can rejoice in it. Because God wants you to be turning to Him for everything. 
not running from him for anything.